What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're hopping back onto that ranked double ladder, but this time using a mess sprint team. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my ranked videos go live. But I've seen this team and I absolutely love Mesprint, but now I have to showcase all three Lake Legendaries. So Mesprint is going to be our first one that we're going to be showcasing pretty soon down the road. We'll get the Uxie and we'll get the Azelf. Try to find a great team for them. But this team today is looking pretty strong. It also has Assuming Arcanine, you got Grimstone for screens, you got Urshfu, Iron Hands, and Amoongus. Should be able to grab us some wins with this squad today. But Mesprint is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview with Levitate and Leftovers as its item. It's got Mystical Power, Draining Kiss, Calm Mind to set up that special defense and special attack boost alongside Protect. We got Grimmsnarl in our second slot and Grimmsnarl is probably going to be coming out within most battles. It's got the screens making this team fully function, making everybody be able to outbulk some shots and get off some big time plays. And it's like Clay has item, Light Screen, Reflect, Spear Break and Parting Shot. This Grimmsnarl, amazing. Absolutely lovely. Can never go wrong with Scream Scream Snarl. Iron Hands is in our third slot with Fake Out, Wild Charge, Drain, Punch, and Heavy Slam. Pretty standard moveset that works oh so well. It also has the Assault Vest with the Fire Terror type and Quirk Drive as its ability. Fourth Pokemon is Hisuian Arcanine. The Dark and... F not Dark. The, the Rock and Fire type, which is actually awesome. I really do like this Pokemon. I like its design all around and it still has Arcanine's top tier ability, Intimidate. So it's going to be great all around with that ability. It's got Safety Goggles as an item, Rock and E-Speed, Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, and will o Absolutely love this moveset for this Pokemon. Amoongus is in our fifth slot, and Amoongus always been top tier support Pokemon and always will be. I feel like within any generation, as long as Amoongus is in the game, you're going to be seeing it on the rank ladder. This one has Regenerator, the Rocky Helmet as an item, Rock and Rage Powder, Spore, Palm Puff, and Protect. Final Pokemon is the strongest Pokemon in Regulation D. It is the Water Urshfu with Unseen Fist and its Choice Scarf as its item. It's got Surgeon Strikes, U-Turn, Close Combat, and Poison Jab. I'm loving this moveset. This Pokemon should be able to outspeed most Pokemon with that Choice Scarf and get off some big time damage. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to showcase Mesprint in Regulation D. Hopping into our first battle for today's video. We're going up against a tough team. Hopefully we can counteract it and get after it. But they got Shen Pao. They got Dragonite. They also have Arcanine, who's probably E-Speed Arcanine. And then they also have Urshifu, Murkrow, and Tornadus. But uh, yeah, a lot of problems here. A lot of problems here. Intimidate could come in clutch, so we might want to lead the boy, right? We might want to lead the Arcanine. I feel like Arcanine could come in pretty clutch here. I could also go Screens, which I really, really like. And then Mesh Sprint alongside with maybe Urshifu. Could be very powerful for us. So do I want to lead that? There's a nice big possibility that I do, right? It is looking spicy. It is looking spicy. So that's exactly how what I'm going to go into. We're going to hope that they're going in with physical attackers. We can intimidate them. Chances are they're probably going in with Arcanine of their own. And I mean, if they intimidate us, Rock Slide is still going to do a big time damage to it. So can't complain. Cannot complain. So I think we're going to go Arcanine, Arcanine, or Hisuian Arcanine alongside their Arcanine and just get after the battle that way. But I would really, really hope... For them to go into Shen Pao Dragonite, because then I can intimidate them, I can set up the Reflex, Rock Slide's going to be super effective on the both of them, we can roll out pretty strong, so, I'm kind of hoping, I'm kind of hoping Shen Pao and not Urshfu, right? Urshfu Merker come out here, I mean, Intimidate's going to work wonders on that, so I do like that, but Surgeon Strike's still doing some big time damage. So Intimidate's going to come out here, um, do I Terrasalize this turn? I could indeed Terrasalize, I could definitely Terrasalize, which I'm really leaning towards, and I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to Thrasilize and just E-Speed. I'm, like, I'm going to double down into Urshfu. The reason I'm going to do that is because I think Murkrow is just going to straight up Tailwind. And if we get off some big time damage on the Urshfu, it would be lovely. It would definitely be lovely. I highly doubt he protects, right? So I'm going to Thrasilize my Arcanine so we can eat up with Surge Strikes. You guys might be wondering, like, yo, Jeans, why don't you just set up the Reflect? Urshfu is going to hit hard. Eh, it can crit, it can go for Surgeon Strikes, it can hit right through to the screen. So, not trying to deal with that. I'm trying to just get off some damage on this Urge from here. So, he's going to Tailwind up. We're just chipping up some damage with East Speed. Going to do more damage than Flare Blitz would. Same thing than Rock Slide. And now Surgeon Strikes flies. So, Terrasalizing into Arcanine should give it one extra turn, right? Correct? I think I'm correct on that statement. It's not looking like I was. That really hurts. So, we just wasted a Terra, man. Always hurts when you do that. When you try to make a play and it just doesn't work out, it hurts the soul. But Spirit Break's going to get my back here. We're going to look for a crit here. That would be awesome. If we can crit here with Spirit Break, that'd be big time. 
But Spirit Break flies through it. It does not KO. And that's why I was really, really hoping that Arcanine would survive. Because then I could just go into an E speed and finish him off. So from here, I am going to go into Urshfu of my own with the choice. Um, yeah, we're going to choice up here. I think I'm just going to start setting up some screens. I think I might start setting up some screens. Um, definitely choice into this. I'm gonna hit Urshfu. I'm gonna hit Urshfu. I'm gonna set up the reflect just in case something happens. Uh, and we'll go from there. That's tough that we lost Terra. That's real tough. That is real tough. I highly doubt he hits my Urshfu with a water move. I think he'll come into me maybe with like a close combat or something. And at that point, he's in minus one. He's not gonna get the guaranteed crit. And on top of that, we'll have screens up. So we'll see. We might, he might even swap. He might even swap here. And if he swaps, he's going to take some nice damage here. But no. He ends up staying in here. Reflect's going to pop out from us. We are choice in certain strikes, which is good. And he's going to certain strikes me. So can you actually... Are you not going to eat that? Are you not eating? You should eat that. You should survive a little bit. Cool. So he ends up surviving here. Let's see what Mercury's going to go for. He might just foul play me down. Yeah, he's going to foul play me down. Do some nice damage to me. Not very effective, but we take that all day. So, Surgeon Strikes now flies. We're not dealing with this Urshfu anymore. And we have Mesprint in the back. Kind of a tough ordeal, right? Because I don't have Terra anymore. And if he has Shen Pao in the back end, ooh, Sucker Punch really, really does me in, right? Really does me dirty. So, we're looking for a nice little clutch up. He goes into Arcanine here. Uh, he does have Terra. Probably going to go Grass Terra. Intimidate's really, really good. I am going to Surgeon Strikes the Murkrow slot, because chances are he's definitely going into. I mean, I could swap, actually. I could definitely swap into Mesprint, which I kind of dig, because I can get some HP back with Draini Kiss, and I can waste out some Tailwind turns. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to deal damage on this slot. So I'm going to pull my Earth Free back. I'm going to reset my Choice Scarf. I'm going to get my plus attack back. And chances are it's got to be Shen Pao in the back end, right? It's got to be Shen Pao. It's got to be Shen Pao, which is a slight issue. He's going to end up Thrasilizing into Straight Grass. That's totally fine. I'm cool with that. I don't mind it. Nothing crazy. And he's just going to get rid of my... Uh, he's just going to get rid of my... What's called? He's going to get rid of my Grimstone on this turn. So we'll see how this one plays out here. Will Lewis going to come out here? That's fine. You can burn You can burn my mess sprint. I don't mind that. I don't mind all that. And we'll come in with a foul play. So foul play pops here, and we're able to soak. That's actually huge for us. We're soaking that. <laughs> Spirit Break flies here, doing some nice damage onto Murkrow. And I feel as from here, how many turns left in Tailwind? There should be one more, right? There should be one more. And if I can waste out these Tailwind turns, then my boy could be fast on the field. Yeah, last turn for Tailwind, so I'm going to just double down into Murkrow. We're at Calm Mind Boost. I mean, Calm Mind Boost isn't really going to do anything crazy. Hmm. Could boost my special attack here. I'm going to boost my special attack. I'm going to go after Arcanine here. I'm just going to Spirit Break stay in that uh, Mercury slot. Even though he's just going to KO me with Foul Play. So he ends up withdrawing Arcanine. And please do not be Shen Pao. I'm going for into my psychic move. Can we Lando? Okay, Lando comes out here. A little bit of Lando. So no Shen Pao. That's weird, right? Really weird. Foul play is now going to fly. That's fine by me. And we're going to be able to start chipping up some damage. So we know who his final Pokemon is. He wants to swap for that uh, for that Intimidate later. And Mystical Power is doing some nice damage. Half damage. And now we get that boost. We get that big time boost. So we get to do that. We get our HP back. But then Burn's going to chip up a little bit. And now we're going to go into... My boy. And uh, do I stay with... Surgeon Strikes. Like, I got a choice into a move here. I think we just choice into Poison Jab, right? If he's Grass Terror, that's our best bet. That is definitely our best bet. Makes the most sense. Does make the most sense. So now we're plus one on Special Attack. Uh, Draining Kiss could go into you. And I could Poison Jab. Hmm. What do I want to do here? This is tough. This is real tough. But I have to choice to the right move here. This is a good battle. I got you guys. This is a good battle. Win or lose this one. Um... I think I want to choice into Poison Jab. I'm not even going to lie. I think I want to choice into Poison Jab. And I really just want to stay with Mystical Power. Just get rid of you. 
Because he's going to have to waste a turn with Tailwind. He's definitely going to have to waste a turn with Tailwind. So, you know what? I'm going to go into that. So, Tailwind's going to come out here. I wonder if he's going to attack, though. Can you go for a ground move in the mess print? I got Levity. It'd be awesome. And then you go for the Slash Bomb, which we're able to soak. Cool. The Poison Jab coming out of your mess prints, a nice little bulk, which is awesome. And Mystical Power is going to finish that off. So, we're choice now into Poison Jab, which is big time. Which is big time, because he's going to be super effective onto the Grass Arcanine. I wonder what he's going to do from here. He might burn me. He might just burn me. But I get some HP back. So now I can Drain and Kiss. Get rid of the Murkrow. And kind of go from there. This is, going to be, this is a good match. This is a real good match. Up. There's no need for me to protect here. A little bit. I mean, Foul Play. Do we think Foul Play is going to kill me? Probably not, because it's based on attack. But I'm still kind of scared of it, right? Still definitely kind of scared of it. So out comes the Intimidate. Let's see my physical attack stat, because we know Foul Play is coming out here. My attack stat's kind of high. That might KO me. Do I just want to protect you? Nah, we're going to go for Draining Kiss. So I'm going to Draining Kiss. I am going to stick with my Poison Jab. And we're going to go into there. So Flare Blitz going to come out here. Can you eat that? You're able to soak. Yo, Mesprin's a bulk. This thing bulks really well. He's going to take some recoil damage. Foul Play's coming out. Can you bulk that too? Oh my god! Mesprin! Chill on him! Poison Jab coming out here. Big time damage. Of course, this thing's ripping with the berry. Leftovers do come out here first, which is big time for us. So burn is not going to KO us. Draining Kiss going to give us a little bit of HP and finish off the Murkrow. So Mesprint coming in hot here. So now, okay, never mind. Now our opponent cancels the battle and just turns off his console. That is huge. We're definitely going to win that one anyway. Because I was going to say, now our opponent either has to take a shot from Mystical Power, which is plus one, probably would have KO'd, or Poison Jab, which would have brought down the red. But still, they were not KOing my boy. We were thriving in this matchup. There it is. 1-0 to get things started. What a hot start. And what a nice comeback from us. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new sheriff in town. Give it up for Mesprint. What a match by Mesprint. Being so bulky, out bulking Pokemon, hitting Pokemon hard with mystical power. It's lovely. It is so, so good. But uh, hopping into our second match, we're going up against more Dragonite. But this time, Tatsugiri and Don Dozo. Alongside with Urshifu, Cresselia, which I don't really see us seeing Cresselia. And they also have Grimstrong just like us. I more so see us... Going up against Sandozo, and we might have to bring my boy here. Do you have Clear Smog? You do not. We've been seeing less and less of Clear Smog, which is kind of tough for us, right? We like Clear Smog. We want Clear Smog, but it's tough news for us. I could go into you, get things started off with him. I do like Mesprint, and I might go in with Dondozo, or not Dondozo, with uh, Grimmsnarl and Mesprint. Maybe just try to get off some screens, then try to uh, get off a nice little Calm Mind. Maybe try to set up Mesprint and get going from there. I do like that. So I'm going to go in with them too. I am going to bring my boy Iron Hands in the back end. And last but not least, we got to bring the GOAT of Regulation D. Urshfu's got to come in here. So lock it in, lock it down. Let's go back to back here. Let's go back to back. But yeah, I was super excited to actually use Mess Sprint in today's video because I really never have used it in like a ranked battle video ever. So I was super curious of how it would do. And it's actually really, really strong so far. I played a few matches on the casual ladder, so I warmed up with it a little bit. And then... That match on the rank ladder was my first one. That was phenomenal. Super bulky. Out bulking shots all day long. I'm loving it. But uh, he ends up going into these two. And I feel as we can just set up this reflect, no problem. And then calm mind boost. I like it. I like the calm mind boost. So we'll see what he wants to do here. I mean, each speeds could come out here. I mean, reflect's going to really help us out here. We got leftovers. We can terrestrialize. We can drain and kiss. We got a lot of different options we can go into. But he's just going to end up Terrasalizing the Dragonite right off the rip and going into flying? Normal? What do you got cooking? Normal. Are you choice banding? I doubt it, right? I doubt you're choice banding. And the reason I say that is because of, uh, you don't have Shen Pao. So e speed's going to fly. Go after my Grimmsnarl. You are going after my Grimmsnarl. That's fine. Grimmy's eating that. Grimmy's eating that, and now I got it. So cool. My mess print is now going to go plus one on special defense and plus one on attack to special attack. So I could Terrasalize into Fairy and just start punking up some damage if I want to. It's really up to me. But uh, what do I want to do? I feel as we can now party shot if we want to into Dragonite and maybe just save Grimmsnarl. If I party shot, I can go into a Pokemon more so like Iron Hands or something, get off some big time damage onto Grimmsnarl. Or I can just stay in here. Maybe just Spirit Break down the, uh, the Grimstone. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Spirit Break down you. 
And I'm going to go into a mystical power. Just in case he wants to spirit break me. I can get that plus one attack back. So E speed's going to fly here. We're going to be able to bulk this one up. And you're going to go after my Grimstar again. Who's now bulking it. Love it. Good old reflect. Mystical power of course misses. Kind of hurts the soul. And I'm going to be able to go for a spirit break on him. Spirit break pops out here. Doing a little bit of damage. And Grimstar is spirit breaking me. It's going to be very upsetting, isn't it? Oh, he's going to foul play me. Which you couldn't eat, right? Awesome. Dope. Cool. Cool. So from here, hmm, could hard swap. Don't want to hard swap though. I could, because how many special attackers do you have in the back end? That's a real question. That's a real question. I really want to see their special attackers. I mean, Cresselia. I don't think they have. I don't think they have Cresselia. Maybe. I mean, Urshfu is definitely an option, but I'm not too scared of Light Screen. I'm just gonna let Grimstar die. If I can get off another Spirit Break, that'd be lovely. I'm gonna try to land this Mystical Power onto this Dragonite. Just chunk up some damage. So e is gonna come out here. The problem here is we already know Grimstar is going for Spirit Break, so we kind of have to land this Mystical Power just to keep our plus one on the special attack. So go ahead, my Sprint. Land it. Oh no, he sets up the Light Screen. So Light Screen comes out here. So we're gonna go plus two if we land this attack. So my Sprint coming out here. Mystical Power. Loving it. A little bit damaged. It was multi-scaled. That's all good. So now I get that free special attack boost. I am going to go into you. And do I just... What do I do here? Do I just punch him? I think I just punch him. <laughs> I could just punch him, right? It's not gonna, it might not KO, but still big time damage. And I might train and kiss. Or do I double down into him? Because I could obviously fake out. Maybe I'll fake out the Grimstarl. You know what? This is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go here. We're going to go fake out onto the Grimstarl slot. And I'm going to set up another comm line. I'm going to get my stats boosted right now. I'm boosting. I'm getting boosted right here. I'm boosting my stats. Because I know this thing's not doing any crazy damage, right? How much damage are you really doing here? Nothing crazy. I got leftovers. I can drain and kiss get some HP back next turn. I'm comm mine boosting this little leak legendary. Love this little thing. It's just floating. <laughs> it's just chilling. It's just chilling. Grimstar is going to take the flinch. We're going to get some nice lovely leftovers. And we'll, we'll start going from there. So I can drain punch. I might just drain and kiss just to do some big time damage. And get some HP recovery back. And I think I might KO. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to Terrasalize. I'm going to save my Terra. I do have Fairy Terra. But I'm going to save it. I'm plus three on on, a, on special attack right now. So he speeds me again. He's going to go into the Iron Hand slot. He's going to bulk that good bit. Drain and kiss going to come out of KO. So close. So close. But we get some HP back. So we're plus three on attack. I think they spear break me. Drain punch is also gonna fire, and he's just gonna foul play me. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. I got screen set up. So drain punch coming out here. Big time damage onto him. And from here, I mean he's probably just gonna e speed me. I'm cool with this. HP's high. HP's high for us. Hmm. And I'm just gonna reverse these shots just in case, just in case he wants to swap them. Do I go for another mystical power? kind of want to just to boost that attack stat right yeah we got to go for another mystical power we have to go for it we're gonna say that the 90 percent accuracy is gonna land we missed one already but we landed one i'd say we land this one so i'm about boosting this and he ends up withdrawing probably thinking we're going for a fighting move in that slot but we're going for a plus three mystical power coming in hot here are you double swapping you are oh whoa this little double swap i like that play I like double swap play. So Donthos is going to come out here. He's going to get boosted. I mean, he's probably going to come after my Mesprint, right? Mesprint does have levity, which is big time. It is big time. It is big time. So double swap comes out here. We're going to do, going to do a little bit of damage onto him. Um, now, the real question is... How do we play this one? That's the real question. It be the real question. The Strain Punch is going to do like five damage. A little bit more than five. That was a crit. Cool. Awesome. And I mean, if he terrestrializes Don, actually can't terrestrialize Don. Does. I think Mesprint can eat up whatever because we still have Reflect for two turns. So yeah, I say we just go in guns and blazing, right? Wild Charge, Mystical Power. But still, let's see Mesprint's stats though. Should be lovely. Oh my lord. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, look at it. Look at it. It's like a SpongeBob. Look at it. Look at it. He's got the ugly. <laughs> That's how I feel right now, but we're just going to pop this. He's going to go for the EQ. 
Good thing my boy or my girl, my sprint right here, has got levitate. I think he should be able to eat this up, uh, Iron Hands, right? Yeah, all day. That's easy. That's light work. Mystical power is going to fly plus three. And why did it do like five damage? Hold up. Why did it do like five damage? Kind of confused to, to us why that did like five damage. I was expecting that thing to just blow that thing up, right? Why'd that do five damage? Hold up. I'm confused. And why Drain Punch, not a Wild Charge, barely do anything? This thing's that bulky? He's that bulky? He's that bulky? I just don't I just don't want to believe it, right? That's that's bulky. That's real bulky. I don't know why that's that bulky. That's real bulky for no reason. So I'm gonna go into the same thing here. EQ is also gonna fly. That's real bulky. Can you eat it up, Iron Hands? I don't know if Iron Hands can eat up this one. I'm kinda hoping. I don't think it can though. Yeah, it does not. It does not. It's weird that that mystical power did that little damage. Like, this is weird, right? That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure this out. I know it's plus two on special defense. It does have light screen up, right? How many turns left in light screen? I mean, I can go in. I got to go into you. Um, how do I play this one? Do I just start close combating with the choice scarf? Might be my best bet. How many turns is left in light screen for them? Two. I mean, I'm gonna go for close combat. I'm gonna go for draining kiss. Maybe, maybe my boy gets a crit here. But we're choosing the close combat. Big time damage. Late screen is doing me real dirty. So my defense is dropped. I wonder what he's going into. He might be going after Mesprin at this turn with the raid crash. Oh no, not the rest. Not the rest, but still, we're doing like no damage to this thing. He doesn't have chest berry, so we're just gonna keep attacking this thing. Hitting it hard. Draining kiss coming out here. We're doing like five damage. This is absurd. Go for more close combats. I'm gonna calm mine boost up again. Just waste out this last turn of light screen. I'm gonna close combat. Deal some nice damage. Can we get a crit soon? I would love it. I would love a crit. Dondo's gonna be slumped. We're gonna go up to plus six, right? And light screen is gone. Oh my god, it has sleep talk. Jeez, man, EQ flying. That might that might do some big time damage to my to my Ursula, we're minus two. Ripple Soak, okay, Combine's gonna boost me up. Combine's boosting me up here. And wow, now those is really gonna get the best of us this battle. Light screen finally gone. Um, we went for close combats. And I guess we'll go for mystical powers. I'm plus six, aren't I? You'd expect this to just rip into him, right? You would expect this to just absolutely rip into him, but it's not going to. Oh my god, it has unaware. Makes a lot of sense now. It has the unaware ability. He's such a pain. Don Dozo's such a pain. It makes all everything everything makes sense now. I forgot about the unaware ability. Maybe can he get a crit? Because Urshfu's going here. The thing is, if I get rid of Don Dozo, my mess sprint could clutch this matchup. But I don't think I'm getting rid of Don Dozo. Mystical power missed. Kind of need that one to hit. All right, let's keep going. More mystical powers. More, more mystical powers. Let's keep ripping. Close combat. Give me a crit. I need a crit or something. We're not getting the crits, man. I think he wants to try to rest again. Kind of annoying. He's he's gonna wake up and rest up again. We guess for an order up. That's fine. That's fine because my boy ate. That just gave me a shot. That gave me a shot at win this match. That should give me a shot at win this match, because this should do, yep, plenty of enough damage. Now I can get rid of him with a close combat, and Mesprint might be able to just, just run this match. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to Draining Kiss into Tatsu. It's big time for us. This is big time for us. I know they still have all their Pokemon, but Mesprint's fully boosted, and Mesprint's probably going to KO the what's called here. The Tatsu gear, unless it's Sash, but still at that point. I think we're fine. We're plus four on special defense. We're really thriving. We're doing some big time damage. He's Sash. Don't I still have Terra? 
I might still have Terra. I don't think I used my Terra. So can Mesprin finally clutch up? Can it get it going? It's plus six on attack, plus four on special defense. Grimstone's gonna come out here. And I wish I could hit these things. I'm gonna struggle. I struggle with, uh, and I, I, I KO myself. Urshfu's gonna KO itself. Um, who do I KO here? Tatsu might even protect. Um, I'm not worried about Tatsu. Like I said, I'm plus four on special defense. He's gonna fake my Grimstone out. That's actually beautiful that you didn't fake out my Master Sprint. I'm cool with that. And we'll see what he wants to do from here. Dragon Pulse. Maybe I'll Terra next turn. Yeah, I'm, oh my, soaked. The soak of a lifetime. So I'm gonna Terra next turn. I'm gonna wait, let Tatsu do a nice little dragon move onto me. I'll block it and I'll just keep doing some damage with Draining Kiss. Ken Met? Mass <laughs> Prince killing it today. Win or lose this match. This thing's killing it. Loving this thing. Don't let me set up Mass Sprint. Don't let me set it up. Show me a special attacker in the back end. We need it. We, we kind of need to be a special attacker. Urshfu can do a sturdy. Oh no, it's Dragoning. That's totally fine. That's totally fine because I gotta take it out. Uh, from here, we're gonna thrash slides, go into the drain and kiss. We'll get after it. We shall get after it. I know it's gonna do some big time damage, though. I know it's gonna do some big time damage, so as long as we can eat up the shot, we pretty much win this match. There's no reflex out here. We have no plus on defense, but Mass Sprint should be able to outbulk it, right? Mass Sprint's a pretty bulky Pokemon. We're gonna thrash slides into this typing right here. He's gonna E speed me. Like I said, Mass Sprint, you got this all day, correct? All day. The clutch up. The 1v4. The 1v4. Mesprint just pretty much 1v4. Ah, I mean, Dondoza was there. 1v3, I should say. Let's get it. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. I said it. Once we figured out Dondoza had unaware, I don't know how I forgot about it. I was, like, struggling. I was like, why am I doing so little damage? I'm plus 5, plus 6. And I'm doing, like, 5 damage. But it's the unaware ability. I was like, once we get rid of this Dondozo, my Mesprit is probably just going to sweep the match. And that's exactly what it's doing right here. He's going to go into a dragon move here. I oh, know. Did he go into a dragon move already? I'm not sure. It don't even matter. He cannot do enough K. I mean, the only way he wins this match is if he crits here. And we eat it up all day. So Draining Kiss comes out here. Mesprit is being OP in today's video. I did not think this Pokemon was going to be as strong. But so far, as it has been one of the strongest Pokemon I have used in Regulation D. Final match is here. And let's just give Mesprit the crown already. The MVP crown is going on Mesprit. Place it on its head. Loving this Pokemon. I think we should do that for every single video. If I remember, I'm going to try to say MVP crown and give it to a Pokemon in every single video. But uh, if I forget... Let me know in the comment section down below. All right? Got me? Understand? Or if you guys think there's controversy on the MVP board. But today, I don't think there's controversy. Mesprint, MVP crown. There you go. This thing is ripping it up today. Absolutely killing it. We're hopping into our final battle. Going up against Tornadus alongside with Chiyu, Gudra, and then Urshifu, Fluttermane, and Rillaboom. I mean, Grimmsnarl obviously has to be our lead. Screens are just so important with this team build. And then from here, we could go in... With Mesprin. We could go in with Mesprin. I mean, Dark to you, a little bit of a problem, but like Terrasalization is going to be our friend. So I I can get down. I can get down with Mesprin. I really do like it. So I'm going to go Mesprin again. I'm going to bring Urshu in the back end. And then final Pokemon, do I go Arcanine? Maybe. Or do I go in with Iron Hands? I feel like the same squad is going to be perfect for us. So I'm going to go in with uh, Iron Hands here. I know Fluttermane is a little bit of a problem, but Terrasalize is going to be our friend. So. We're going to have to look to do that. Maybe save it for Iron Hands, because Fluttermane is super effective on the three of our Pokemon at this moment. We're going to be able to outspeed with Urshifu, which is big time. Considering maybe just one certain strikes could just take out uh, Fluttermane. So, we'll see where this match takes us. But they end up leading Rillaboom and Urshifu. So, Fake Out, probably going to come out here. Um, real question is, um, who's he going to Fake Out? Probably. I mean, I would love to just... I would love to just rip into Urshfu, right? I would love to just rip into Urshfu. I would love to rip into Urshfu. I'm gonna go for this. Hopefully they just fake out. Who are they gonna fake out? Not my mess print, man. Come on, man. Leave it up. Leave, leave mess print alone. Mess print might be dying here. U-turn. We could, we could soak that up. Cool. 
So we soak that up. That's fine. We get off reflect for later usages. So the U turn out. Leftover is going to help us out a little bit here. Um, I could protect. I could do other things. It really depends. But I love the leftovers on this Pokemon. This thing is nice and bulky. Really, like, a lot bulkier than I thought it would be. Considering, like, you tend to think, like, bulkiness on, depending on the size. But now we have to Terrasalize in this sprint, right? I think that's a fine call for us to actually do that, because I can Terrasalize my sprint into Fairy, Draining Kiss onto the Chiyu, get some damage off, get some HP back at the same time. So Light Screen, <clears throat> we're definitely going to set it up. And you know what? I might just Protect, first and foremost. I am going to Protect, first and foremost. And the reason I want to do that is because I can just Parting Shot with Grimstrong and save it for later. And we can see if they want to Terrasalize. We can really see what they want to do. So we can get a read. We can read out the options. I can always... Oh, no. If they don't Terrasalize, we can't Parting Shot. I gotta remember it's dark type, but I can always party shot on the real boom. Give it a minus one on that attack stat. So we'll see how they want to play this one. So we end up just protecting Mesprint. I think a Dark Pulse might be coming through that, or maybe just straight Heat Wave. It really depends. But Light Screen's gonna be our friend. We got the screens up. So screens, big time for us. Snarl's gonna come out here, which was a smart play by them. And what do I do from here? What's the Gene's call from here? I might, I might have to Terrasalize by Mesprint. And if they're going to snarl me, I might want to start just like mystical powering, maybe in the roll boom. And the reason that be is just so I can get my attack stat back. So I'm with that. I'm going to go into a parting shot here. Mystical power into you. And then we'll bring out Urshifu. Too. We are bringing out the Urshi Ursh. Urshi Ursh is coming out here. Did I not terrestrialize? Bruh, I needed to terrestrialize there. That was my play. I thought I terrestrialized. I need to terrestrialize that mess friend. It might die now. It's gonna die now. It did survive. Hold up. Wait a minute. Now it's dead. That really hurts. That really hurts right there. I was supposed to terrestrialize my mess friend. I think I, I missed it. I missed it. That happens. We might have lost this bat match on a on a misclick. Because I even said I was like, we're gonna terrestrialize this thing. We're gonna roll out strong. But I guess from here, we will go into you, Iron Hands, and what do I want to choice into? I kind of want to just choice into Poison Jab here. The reason I say, actually, I could U-turn out. But I'm just going to choice into Poison Jab, because you might Terrasalize in the grass. She might Terrasalize in the grass. That hurts, man. That really hurts. That hurts the soul, because Mesmerin should have still been alive. Should have been doing some big time damage. We would have been able to eat up that wood hammer. I could have protected next turn and got some more leftovers HP. Man, it would have been sitting pretty. We would have been sitting pretty. That's just a bad play on my end. So he ends up just straight up protecting Chiyu. I could have actually just KO'd that if I want to. I could just KO'd that, but I figured it would terrestrialize. Poison Jab's gonna fly into Rillaboom. Do about half damage, which is lovely. And Wood Hammer's gonna fly, which we should be able to soon. Boy, so boys out here, so so from here, we're gonna definitely need Urge food for later. So, I'm gonna swap into Grim Snarl. I'm just gonna drain punch into Chiyu. I'm gonna say Chiyu probably doesn't tear, he might swap, but we'll see. We're choice, and I don't think he knows that. So, I would like to get my choice back. I need it back. Man, dude, that, that's just such a hurtful play. Like, looking back on it, the mess sprint really needed that. Misclick my... I think it screwed us over there. That's what happens when I, I play... I play fast sometimes. Especially when I'm recording, I kind of just start clicking buttons <laughs> left and right. And it hurts us sometimes. It definitely does. So we'll see what they want to do here. Um, they're gonna, we're going to swap Urshifu. I think they might terrestrialize the fish. Fishy fish might get the terror. Hey, yeah, which also Rillaboom? So Rillaboom's gonna get to swap out. That's fine, my man. Who are you gonna go into from here? That's the real question. Just don't terror the fish. Buttermain's gonna come out here. Flutter, flutter. Heatwave's gonna fly here. That's cool. That's fine, my man. Grimstrong's gonna dodge. Iron Hand's gonna be able to soak. No burns. Cool. Drain Punch should be able to finish you off. And of course, your Sash. So the Sash Pokemon comes out here. Um, I still have Terror, which is the good thing, though. That's actually big time. 
I still have terror. So it was bad at the moment, but now at this point in time, it's not too bad. So I can do this. I can do this. And I can heavy slam into you. Not that bad now. It's not that bad. Actually, this might work out in our favor. This might work out in our favor, but I feel as we, we would have been in a better position with an sprint. But honestly, kind of happy because like I said in the beginning, Fluttermane was going to be a problem with the team that we have. And we need something to take it out. And it's perfect that they're this terror, so you know what? Things work out sometimes. Now we go into the fire terries. Probably getting rid of my Grimstar, actually. Yeah, Grimstar will probably dies before it even gets off a shot. But I'm not too worried about Chiyu. I can outspeed it. I can outspeed it with the Urshka. Plus fire looks per like, a, like a perfect terror here. Gleam is going to fly here. Grimstar, you're soaking. We got the... Wow. I was going to say, we got the light screens. That's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Heat is going to fly here. That gets rid of my Grimstar. Iron Hands is soaking. Which is big, big time. Heavy Slam coming in hot. Heavy Slam coming in hot. How much damage are you doing? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Heavy Slam is the Fluttermane Sweeper. So now we are here. Um, I don't have Protect on my Earth food, which is a problem. Because if they... What they're going to do. They're going to bring back out... They're going to bring back out Rillaboom. They don't bring out Rillaboom. They choose not to bring out Rillaboom. They choose not to bring out Rillaboom. And what is my play here? Probably just certain strikes into that. Because we're going to outspeed. That can hit you. Mm. Water moves problem. I wish I had protected this point, but we're going for this. I think you, ah, that is his problem. See, we we needed our mess sprint. <laughs> this is not looking good. Surge, like, he actually outspeeds me. That's tough news. Reflect's not going to help us out. None of that. So I'm dead to that. And that thing's actually choice as well. So that does me so dirty. But that's going to be game set match. They're just going to come in here next turn with the real boom. Fake me out. Flinch me. KO me with whatever move he wants to use. And that's going to be game set match. Man. Hurts the soul. See, Mass Sprint would have been perfect. Because like I said, we could have got some work done with Urshpit. But I don't know if we would have been able to get rid of Fluttermane. Maybe. Maybe. Probably not, right? I mean, that that, that Terra Dazzling would have done so much damage to us. But it's all good. It is all good. We're going to end up losing this match. Mass Sprint still MVP. Would have maybe had a different outcome if we would have not misclicked, but still, our opponent played really good and probably would have maybe still beat us if, uh, even if we did terrestrialize mess sprint. But I'm gonna run this one, we're gonna keep my Irish food alive 2 1, a nice, lovely winning record with this mess sprint team. Absolutely loved using this mess sprint team in today's video. I had so much fun with it, and it was super fun to use a Pokemon that I'd never use on the rank ladder. And surprisingly, this thing is goaded. It was absolutely amazing. We gave it the MVP crown, and it shredded in today's video, grabbing ourselves a 2 1 winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, if you guys want to support me a tad bit extra, consider becoming a member. Members get exclusive uh, stuff, such as sub badges, emotes, priority, and comments, all that good stuff. Plus, helps me out as a content creator. So, huge shout out to all my members. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.